Death Valley. Here we go. There we go. We just beat James Storm. There, cross leg Michinoku. And count to three, ref. Because the storm has come and gone. Uh. This is a pretty sweet deal. I'm getting shot at the big time in Orlando. TNA. A national audience uh, against some of the best competition in the world? It's almost too much to take in, but it feels good. Okay, time for audition. Listen up. We're gonna have us a little gauntlet match. That means three falls, raise, back to back. You win by pinfall or submission. If you survive the first two challengers, you get to take on my secret weapon. Dig it? Ooh, yeah. Cornette's giving the winner a shot to be on national television tomorrow night. That's right, it's the big leagues, ladies. Good luck, and let's get started. Chop, chop. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, CM Puma, and wherever you may be, and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Well, as you can see, we are back with more TNA Impact. And as uh, we saw in the previously on, we faced against, faced off against James Storm. And, oh, man. I get, oh, this is a, the Red Devil. Um, we faced off against James Storm with the opportunity, if we wanted, to come to Orlando and have a match in TNA. And that's where we are right now. As you saw, Kevin Nash... Um, Giving, giving us the opportunity here in another gauntlet match. Oh. Oh, and a choke slam. Um, and the winner gets a national spot on TV. That's what I'm talking about. So we got to beat these two guys. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. Get off me. So we got to beat two guys before we can face off against Jay Lethal. Come on. There we go. Oh, he went for a big uppercut, and he blocked it. And a shot against Jay Lethal would be nice. Other than, well, I, I was going to say he'd be the first, like, real person we face, but we just faced James Storm, so. Good grief. There we go. Stand up, Puma. Oh! Can we roll out? Good grief, the Red Devil is getting us, boys. Roll out, Puma. Get out of the ring. You can't can't pin us if we're outside the ring. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He knocked us clean out of the air. Woo. Uh-oh, I pushed the wrong dang button. Okay, what's happening here? I'm knocked out. I can't move. Jeez. Can I can I pick up the ring steps? No, they're like overly huge. Well, I came out here looking for a chair because I'm just tired of getting beat on by the red devil here. Death Valley to the outside. Good night, Irene. Setting him up for a suplex. Oh. Oh, okay. And he reverses. He reverses. It's not that's all right. Oh, into, good lord, we almost went over the barricade. And it's not like WWE, so you can't grab a guy, you can't grab a guy by his feet. Oh, nice reversal there. Run, and we just get smacked out of the air again. Come on, man, get up to your feet, man. We're going to have to time a reversal just right. Oh, and that's not the way to do it. Jeez. We're going to lose against the freaking Red Devil. He is going to town on us right now. I don't know if you can hear my controller. Oh, my goodness. We just got out. We just barely got out of that. Shit. Nope. 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 Not today, Red Devil. Death Valley again. As I mentioned in 
previous videos, the game's pretty basic. But we're going to do every move that we have available to us in an effort to beat the Red Devil. Oh, big elbow on the knee. And got him. Hook him up for the suplex, and he reverses it, of course. Which it, it looked like just then we had the option to reverse it ourselves. Reverse his reversal. That would be nice. I think I've only done that a couple of times. Okay. Dropping el knees, excuse me, on the elbow. And we're just going to stomp. Oh, we went for the leg drop and he moved. Come on now. Now, I will say, um, there's some pretty cool sequences happening um, every now and then. And it just blows me away. Some of the things. Um, let's get up. I don't want to lose my finisher here, so we're gonna run. We're gonna do the finisher on the outside. We got to get the red devil, red, and we do it right there. We do it right there, and he is awfully close. Oh, dang it! There we go. Get in the corner, red devil, or just get freaking hip tossed. Snap that neck. Pick him up. Oh, okay. He got us. Fair enough. Holy cow. Hip tossed from the red devil, and he gets us. Oh, come on. Here we go. Death Valley. Boom. Nice move there, Puma. Thanks, Puma. Hooking him up. Vertical. Yeah, he does. He goes up, and he goes down. Oh, shoot. Jump. We jump. And we got the big points. And, dang, I was trying to maybe get him behind. How, can I turn him? Doesn't look like it. Choke slam again. And we're going to get go to town on old buddy here. If he doesn't reverse us. Here we go. And off the ring ropes and into a giant choke slam. Holy cow. I don't know if, if you do the same move too many times. If you get impacted by that, I would assume so. Seeing as... Oh! Um, nobody wants to see the, just the same moves over and over. But when I don't have a choice, I don't know. I mean, it's just knee drops and the same, the same old stuff. Dang it. No. Whoa. Okay. That's not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. And we're going to rope-a-dope this goofy bastard. Come on. Oh. Kick. Into the death valley, and he doesn't reverse. And here's our chance right here to get the victory over the red devil. Boom. Cross-leg Michinoku driver. And CM Puma gets the one, two, three. Over the Red Devil. Let's go. Who's next? Who's next here in the impact zone? All right, here we go. Second matchup of the evening. Looks like it's going to be against Ramzul. Yeah, I'm not saying Ramzul. Oh, Puma with a shot and Ram with a shot. Big clothesline from Ram knocking Puma down to the mat. I gotta get used to get used to these reversals, the timing and all that. Oh, he's going off the ropes. Nope. Not today. Not today. Big punch. Big punch. And it, oh my god, we're just wailing all buddy. Get in the corner. Big clothesline there. Holy cow. We send him across the rope a ring again. Missed the kick. And another reversal. He I probably shouldn't have done that when he was actively trying to reverse my punch. Big shot. Everybody's missing here. Come on. Grab him. Okay. We can stop the running move. And up. What? What is it? Pile driver. Holy cow. I did not know we had that move. I'm going to have to check the move lists when we're done. Again, into the corner. And we've got him by the throat. Oh my goodness, we looked like we were going for another pile driver. 
And Ram reverses it. And now he's got us in a chin lock. And Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. Good lord. I thought we were about to tap out right now. Back in the corner. Go see him, Puma. And just shot after shot. Good grief. He stumbles out and gets kicked square in the chest. Okay. Got to get out of the ring here. Big clothesline. In the Death Valley. Out there on that thin rubber mat. Oh, jeez. Oh, and a second Death Valley. Holy cow. We're going to use that Death Valley until it, it goes out of style. Vertical suplex. His lower back landing right on that concrete floor. Dang it. Yep, that was coming. All right, reverse the Death Valley. And get a get hip toss, son. We're getting back in the ring. Oh, we completely missed and then landed flat on that concrete. We didn't even hit the dang rubber part. Oh, wrong buttons. Oh, we got him hooked up. Dang it, I don't want to do that. Big clothesline. Chop, chop, chop. Punch. Oh, and he's groggy. He's groggy, so we got to hook him up. Oof. And a choke slam after the atomic drop. That might be our thing. Chop after chop and uppercut. Look at this. Big punch, big punch it. What the heck? How the hell did that happen? We just got freaking dropped on our dome. And we got to wiggle the stick to wake ourselves up. Come on, man. Uh-oh. Two count. Big choke slam. Okay, we got our finisher. Oh, but we're, we're going to hold it, apparently. We're going to drop the knees onto the elbow real fast. And here we go. Hooking old buddy up. Cross leg. Michinoku driver. And, yep, you can count to, well, just count to three because any further than that, and that's it. All right, CM Puma wins the second matchup here in the Impact Zone. And that means we get to face off against Jay Lethal. Uh, a prize? I don't know. Close on. We unlocked a new move. All right. So I'll get into the, our move set later and do that. But here we go. Black Machismo. And seeing Puma, and we start things off with a big body splash. Well, I guess it's just a call a splash. Just wailing away on on Jay Lethal. Oh man! And into the corner we go. We got him hooked up. Oof! And there's the choke slam. No, into her freaking code breaker. That's a pretty damn cool reversal, for the, especially for this game, as simple as it is. Here we go. Nope. Into the corner. Oh, we reversed our knee. And it looks like we can reverse the reversal. We just got to get our timing down. And I can work on that. Death Valley. We drop Black Machismo on his head. Wrench the neck. I'm sure hoping we can um, unlock some more some more moves. If there was a cheat code to just unlock everything, I would surely be doing it. We've got lethal up. Look at that, a shoulder breaker. We're doing moves we haven't seen before. Oh, nice head scissors. Reversal from Jay. Up into the Death Valley. Nope. Reverses it into a neck breaker. Tilt the world. Back breaker, man. Okay, we're uh, not really having a good go at it at the moment. I mean, I'm pushing the reversal button at just the right time. And we can't seem to... Oh, excuse me. It's like 1 in the morning, and I am freaking tired. <laughs> Choke slam. So as I'm talking, I keep yawning a little bit. All right, got to lead the love into another shoulder breaker. And we're getting close to that finisher. So that means... Oh, nice. Hip toss. 
We're going to have to hit him with our finisher before we're ready to actually win. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I mean, at least he didn't reverse the finisher. I don't know I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if you can reverse it. Son, if you don't get off me, grab him. Nope. Grab him. There we go. Oh, we got him in our own chokehold. We're going to make this boy tap out. Tap out, dude. Nope. And we lost our finisher in the process. So now, oh, now we've got, now we've got some more work to do as we go to town with those kicks and punches. Vertical suplex. Man, I remember watching WCW back in the day. Can I do that? Let me, I'm going to cut. I cannot do that. <laughs> and watching somebody get freaking suplexed was like super cool to me. Death Valley. Now they're doing all kinds of things I've never even think I would see. It's insanity. Oh, okay. If he doesn't reverse it, then we apparently just don't pick him up. But if he sets it right, jeez. Oh, I need to unlock that. He is very close. No. And there it is. With that reversal, he gets his finisher. We're going to we're going to exit the ring. Even if he hits his finisher out here, that doesn't mean anything. Nope. He just missed your shoulder block, dude. And wow, we dove clean over the top of Jay Lethal into a hip toss. We're very close. Oh, we're super close. We got to be able to get that finisher, and then I think that's going to be it for him. Oh, oh, jeez. So freaking close. There we go. Got him hooked up. Uh, atomic drop. Choke slam. That's the combo. That is it. That's the move that makes it work. There. And now it's time, Jay. Yeah, it is. Hook up Jay. Drop him down onto the mat. Count to the one, two, three. There it is. CM Puma gets the victory over Jay Lethal. Very nice. So now we get a shot on TV. We're going to be live and in color, ladies and gentlemen. New character. Jay Lethal. All right. Let's continue this. Great job, kid. I see a lot of myself in you. You need a place to stay? We got a locker room you can keep your stuff in. And some four-star cots in the back you can crash on. Just don't expect any room service. You know, just till you find something better. Up to you. Ah, smell the glory. <laughs> oh, we're gonna throw up in our mask. It's your home for now. You can use this place to train, spruce up your look, Rework your persona. So get a name that people won't forget. You get the picture? Yeah, CM Puma. All right, uh, you're on your own. Oh, let me look at my non existent watch. I got a 10 o'clock Pilates class. It's cool. I'll keep myself around here till my next match. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it, man. Hey, Mikasi Sukasa. Call me Nash. I'll get in touch with you again soon. All right, well, there we have it. Apparently, even though we're a wrestler, we have no idea who Kevin Nash is. And uh, Nash just wanted to get out of the locker room by looking at his fake watch, or his non-existent watch, I should say. And apparently, we live in the locker room now. There's a four-star cot and a locker for our things. I didn't see any place to wash my mask. Ugh. But it is better than sleeping on the street in Tijuana, Mexico as we've done in previous episodes. So that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. We got a lot, lot coming your way. SWF, um, the pre-show will be going up tomorrow, as well as the main show. The pre-show is going to be a 20-man rumble and a 20-women rumble. I'll get into all that when it's time. And then SWF, crowning achievement where we will see all three of our champions crowned. But come on back. We got more WWE 2K18 and, of course, TNA Impact.